welcome here everyone to customize your lock screen start on the home screen of your device and then swipe down from the middle and so once we swipe down we now see our lock screen uh, from here i want you to long press on the empty space and now we are in the wallpaper customization from here we can either customize our existing wallpaper or we can tap the plus to create a new wallpaper. You can also swipe to the left and then tap on the plus. Once we tap on the plus, we can see featured wallpapers here and we can scroll down to view all of the wallpapers which are available on our device. If you are like me, you want to use a custom photo, then at the top, we have the photos and the photo shuffle option. So I'm going to use a photo of me. So we're going to tap on the photos. And by default, showing this photo here. And you could just select the all button. And then we can see all photos. You can also go into the albums if you want to find an album where you want to use the photo. So I'm going to scroll all the way down. And I'm going to use this selfie of me here. So I'm going to tap on the photo to select. If you are selecting a photo where the foreground and the background is very clear. So in my case, the face is the foreground. The, you know, the background is the background. Then you will notice that we have this. This is the depth effect. And so what it will do is it will bring your foreground in front of the clock and then the background will be behind the clock if this is not showing you're not seeing the depth effect then what you can do is get two fingers and just pinch out or pinch back in and you can zoom in or out until you get the foreground on top of the clock and the background behind the clock what you will notice is if you are using this depth effect it will restrict you from adding widgets to the lock screen. So if you want widgets on your lock screen, you will need to turn off depth effect. And to do that, you're gonna tap on the triple dot and then tap the depth effect. And now we can add widgets, but you don't have that depth effect feature. With the wallpaper, we can customize it. Uh, most wallpapers will have this. So if you just swipe to the left, you can change the filter, so it's changed the color of the background. And you can see this one's changed the foreground and the background. Uh, with some of these customization, you can tap to change the color. And if we keep on swiping, you can see all of the filters we have here. We can also customize the clock. So if we tap on the clock, we can change the font of the clock, the size of the font, the color and the intensity of the color. So I'm going to use a purple and for the font, I'm gonna use the, use this one and I'm happy with that. Then at the top, we have the date. If we tap on the date, we can add a extra widget. You can see choose widget. In my case, I'm going to use the weather widget and you can see it's going to show weather right now and you can scroll down and just replace the widget by tapping on something else you want. You can see right here. I'm personally just going to put back the old U, which is the day and the date. Then we have add widgets. You need depth effect off for this. And these are small widgets that you can add. And on the lock screen, you can tap to, uh, them to interact. So let's say you want to see a battery. We'll add the batteries widget and the clock. Let's see here. We'll just add the time. And to remove a widget, tap on the widgets, and then tap on the minus to remove. There we go. And once we are happy, 
we're going to tap on add and this will create the lock screen but now we need to create the home screen wallpaper if you set as wallpaper pair your home screen wallpaper will be the same as your lock screen but it will be blurred and you can see the preview right there if we select customize home screen we can now customize what we will see so by default you have the blur and you can tap the blur to remove the blur you can select a solid color and if you tap on the plus you can customize the color you can select a gradient and if we tap on the plus oh, one second we can then choose the gradient okay so we can change the gradient like that and you can select a different photo so go to all select the photo if i would like once you are done just tap on done tap on your lock screen the video is uh, not done just yet but you can see the preview here lock screen and home screen some of you may want to add a live photo so this is an animated wallpaper that moves to do this we're going to long press to get into the editing view we will create a new lock screen so we're going to tap on the photos here and then we'll filter by live photo if this doesn't work and you can't see your live photos then just tap on the all button and then just scroll down until you see the live photo in question and so i'm going to select mine now and you can see it's going to play that little animation and that is what your live photo will be and if you tap this button here you can turn off the live photo option if you're having issues with this and you don't see this animation then if we open the camera make sure the picture you taken was with that live photo toggle so you can see here this live photo if live is off then it's just a regular still photo but if live is on we take the picture then this can be set and you can see if i long press place the live photo if you are struggling to locate the live photo in the lock screen editor then what you can do is find the photo in your photos app and then tap on the share icon and then you're going to see this one users wallpaper and when you tap on this one we can zoom in it out and you can see the live photo tap this and then you've got that animated live wallpaper like this with that being said if you would like to help support the channel please do check the description bye bye